Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I want to make a short video about this big device here, uh, which is a battery charger for lead acid batteries. Uh, in fact, it's a charger for a multitude of things that are 48 volts or close to it. And it is, according to legend, an absolutely super device. The only problem is you can't really do anything apart from what it's preset for. So uh, there's a little catch with this thing and everybody should know about it. And um, I'll explain. Now, if we look into the manual, uh, we'll find out that this is basically a programmable uh, CCCV charger. So you have a constant current charging phase and a constant voltage charging phase. And on top of that, this thing has multi-phase charging up to eight phases, which is absolutely great. I mean, this is a supercharger. Uh, but if you go into detail um, of the manual, you'll find out that it is supposed to be programmable. Um, the charging curves and uh, the charging voltages are free to program, so they say. And uh, I'll read that little <laughs> paragraph here because it's really interesting and uh, it's kind of where the whole thing falls down. So they write, the charging curves and protective functions can be customized by reprogra reprogramming its firmware. Basically, you can charge, you can change the voltage current settings of each individual change plus adjust or cancel the protective functions. Please note, the factory charging curve is for charging lead acid battery. Please contact Mainwell regarding other types of battery charging requirements. That's cool, isn't it? A programmable charger. There's just one problem with this. You can't contact them. You see, Meanwell and a lot of the people I know know who Meanwell is because they make the most excellent power supplies. These things don't break. The only problem is if something doesn't break then you don't need a support department. And apparently they don't have one because I contacted the email address that is on the back of here. I contact the email address that is inside of here. I contacted the European email address, the Chinese email address, the US email address, and I got no response at all. This thing, the way it sits here, can charge lead acid batteries. And that's about it. I would like it to charge gel batteries uh, and it needs to be set differently for that or I would like to use it to charge lithium-ion batteries you can program it sure but they're not going to give you the software required this thing for anything but charging lead acid batteries is absolutely useless and it is extremely expensive and uh, I went as far as contacting the seller who had sold me this and I was telling him, well, help me get in touch with Meanwell because I want to use it to charge gel batteries. And according to their sales brochure, this is the device that you're supposed to use for doing that. And he told me, well, yeah, but it's been more than six months. I'm not going to take this thing back. This is your break now. And uh, I can't help you get in touch with Meanwell because we don't get anything from Meanwell. There's another seller involved in this and he won't give out any Meanwell information. So just as a word of caution, Meanwell makes great stuff, but they have absolutely no support. Don't fall for it because 
you are just going to be stuck, stuck like I am now. I have the most expensive charger that there was in this segment and I'm absolutely unable to do anything with it. And quite honestly, I am super pissed about it. Um, I'm super pissed because for the last, I don't know, 15 years, I've been a very happy customer of MeanWell. But honestly, this is not MeanWell. This is just mean. I mean, not answering as soon as you read that is for this device to any query is, well, it's mean. Let's just leave it at that. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this uh, because uh, I was actually planning on going lithium ion or lithium um, iron, lithium ion ferrophosphate, but uh, not with this charger. Although it would be the perfect match if it were only working. So um, yeah, quite the short video. Um, not much to see here, but also no future projects. It's really too bad. Um, thanks for watching and uh, have a good time.